Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 40 of new Selenium IDE. That is how to use assert not checked command. Selenium IDE has huge list of commands, and assert not checked command is one of them. So, what is the purpose of this assert not checked command in Selenium IDE? The purpose of assert not checked command is to check whether the given checkbox option is not in selected state. Okay, if the given checkbox option is not in selected state, the assert not checked command will pass the test. Otherwise, if the given checkbox option is in selected state, then asset not checked command will fail the test. So let me show you visually, guys. So open the browser and then go to this application sample application if scroll down a bit as you can see there are two checkbox options here one is in selected state and another one is not selected state okay if you pass this checkbox option which is in selected state to this asset not check command it will fail the test right and if it if you pass the checkbox option which is not in selected state then asset not check command will pass the test as the checkbox option is not in selected state okay the checkbox option is not in selected state then it will pass the test so let me practically demonstrate okay so click on the selenium id it will launch the selenium id select this create a new project option it will ask for the project name enter any project name say qfox or so whatever you want and click on okay now select the first row guys before performing anything we have to first open the application url for the type the command open command and give something like forward slash Open command is the Selenium ID command, which is used for opening the application URLs, okay, in the Selenium ID. And forward slash here stands for base URL of the application. So this step will finally open the base URL of the application. Once the base URL of the application is opened, select the second step and type assert not check command, okay. After typing this command in the second row, select this row and select this reference so that you will get the detailed documentation of this assert not check command here. As you can see here, we already typed the command and there's something like locator here. We need to pass this locator. For example, let's first pass the checkbox option, which is not in selected state, okay? Which is not there in selected state. Right click and inspect this. This is the HTML code of this uh, checkbox option, which is not in selected state. It has some ID, guys. Copy this. And we have to add the locator of the checkbox option, guys. ID is equal to checkbox2, this checkbox2, okay? So this ID locator will locate this checkbox option which is not in selected state and asset not checked command will check whether this checkbox option is not there in selected state or not, okay? If this checkbox option is not in selected state, it will pass the test. Let's see that, okay? When you run this, when you run this, it will ask for the application URL, give the application URL here. Click on start playback. Now we pass the checkbox option, which is not in selected state. So asset not checked command should pass the test as this checkbox option is not in selected state. Observe that this step got passed as I mentioned, right? Now, if I pass the checkbox option which is in selected state, this asset not state command will fail the test. Let's see that also. Right click on this and select inspect option. And this is HTML code of this uh, checkbox option which is in selected state. Uh, take the ID locator value of this and uh, pass it here. This check this ID locator will locate this checkbox option which is in selected state. And asset not state command will fail the test as this checkbox option is in selected state. It should, it should as per this command. If the checkbox option is in not selected state, then only it will pass. If the check checkbox option is in selected state, it will fail the test. As you can see now, it will fail the test. Observe that the test got failed, guys. As this asset not check got failed because the checkbox option, whatever we passed, is in selected state. That's why it got failed. Okay. Now we need to understand that there are two types of commands here, guys. Uh, one in the previous video, I explained how to use assert check command, right? And here I am saying assert not check command. So they revolve around the checkbox options only to check whether the checkbox option are in selected state or not. Okay. Coming to this assert check, okay, it will check whether the checkbox option is in selected state, whereas assert not check command is an opposite of this assert check command. It will check 
whether the given checkbox option is not in selected state. It's an opposite of assert check. Okay, this is one thing. And one more thing here is assert not checked. Okay, and we have something known as verify not checked, which I will be explaining in the next video. So coming to the asset not checked, it falls under the hard assertion category. Whereas verify not checked falls under the soft assertion category. So guys, uh, both will do the same thing guys. Asset not checked and verify not checked will do the same thing. That is, they will check whether the given checkbox option is not in selected state. But asset not checked falls into hard assertion, whereas verify not checked falls into soft assertion. What does that mean? That means if this particular step fails, uh, okay, as part of this hard assertion, asset not checked command will stop the execution there itself. If there are any other steps followed by this asset not checked command, they will not be executed, guys. Let me run this and observe that when this asset not checked command fails here, it will not continue the test execution. Okay, it will stop there itself. And the third step, that is close step, which is following this uh, going to be failed step, will not be executed, as you can see now. Okay. You see, this step got failed. And uh, the test execution directly stopped here itself. It didn't continue. And you see the close command didn't get executed. So that is how hard assertion will work. Coming to the soft assertion, irrespective of the failure, the execution will continue. That is close command will be executed if you use verify not set command, which I am going to explain in the next video anyhow. So this is how guys, we have to use assert not check command in Selenium ID. And in the next video, I'm going to explain how to use verify not check command in Selenium ID. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.